doctors in the South are at the forefront of a major change in the way infections like sepsis are diagnosed. A scoring system developed by medics in Portsmouth and already used in some hospitals is now being introduced into GP surgeries. Sepsis is when the body tries to fight its own infection. 44,000 people die in the UK every year as a result of it. Symptoms include extreme pain and tiredness, shivering and a fever. Without quick treatment, it can lead to multiple organ failure and even death. Edward Salt has more. I struggled to even get out of bed. I could not walk across a room without having to hold on to something. Claire Moss, who's a nurse from Winchester, thought she just had a sore throat. But it was a sore throat that never went away and a sore throat that turned into sepsis. When I was actually really, really poorly, when I was at home, I, I just didn't feel as though I could live anymore. And it's cases like Claire's that doctors want to prevent. This is the scoring system GPs will adopt and is already being used in hospitals. A score of seven, for example, would mean your blood pressure is low, your oxygen saturation in your blood is low and you have a high temperature. It would not only indicate that you need to be admitted to hospital, but would help your GP, the ambulance service and the hospital to decide the urgency and level of care that you need. This will reduce the avoidable deaths caused by sepsis. If you've got a high score, then the chance of something going seriously wrong and the deterioration happening over a rapid period of time means that earlier action needs to be done. Is this person likely to need hospital care in the next hour, two hours, in the next 24 hours and therefore we reduce the avoidable deaths with sepsis. And that score will help people like Dr Matthew and Arda Kim get patients the right treatment and save lives. I think the best definition for sepsis that I know is infection with badness as a result. It's when the body starts to fight itself, when the systems and the organs that we depend upon to survive start to fail around us. And it's only really with a scoring scale like news and greater awareness amongst healthcare professionals and the public that we can really achieve greater and better outcomes within it. It makes me realise that life is very, very fragile and something like a little sore throat can change your life considerably. Claire is now back at work and living her life again, a life that was so nearly taken from her. Edward Salt, BBC South Today.